Just about made it to the end of another one. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is late Friday on the eve of Squatch 253 Plow Day 2022. Uh, I think I have everything set and ready, at least on my end. Rick Bork has managed to get his orange Kubota up here. Does not even have a bale spear, regular forks on it, and all of his hay bales are still in the fields. So if everybody shows up tomorrow and they're waiting around, at least they won't be waiting on me, right? But we've got some tractors coming. See them out there on the road? Way off. Let's see who it is. Oh, we got Rick Bork on the No Governor Operation C, Super C. Looks like Connor on the 400 from this old farm. Down the hill. And bringing up the rear, Iron Man 3406 on the Super A. He's paddling. He's getting everything he's got. <laughs> Pretty sure he drove that all the way from Saskatchewan. Took off before I did. What did you get out of the Super C then with no governor? 21. You got the GPS on your phone to back it up, right? Yep. <laughs> and what did you get on the 400? 19 or 20. 19 or 20? And 13 and a half on the You did 21 on that thing? <laughs> All of it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see a slow moving vehicle sign. You gotta be careful, man. They'll deport you right back to Canada for that. <laughs> I can speed in a school zone. 13 and a half. Wow, you, you, you know you got some speed when. <laughs> oh man, that is centrifugal force right there. It can't even keep the grease in the front wheel bearings. How is this thing even still alive? Seriously. Really? Right here. Right here. That's the that's the special link right that's there. The that that's your only li limiting factor. Wow. I might have to shorten that wire up a little bit for tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> and Connor's got the high capacity air cleaner jar in the 400. I kind of like that, and it's it's sucking up dozers. At least it's not a cat. It's just a yellow one. And then Rick Super A, and I believe he got. Yep, he has the one bottom fixed up behind that. So that is about all we've got for turnout so far. <laughs> Kyle Chris was supposed to be here by now. He talked to me, oh, probably 15 minutes ago, and he still hasn't left South Dakota. So he might land at Rick's place about midnight tonight. I don't know. Catch up with you all in the morning. Welcome back, everybody. It is Saturday morning, and yeah, we are slowed down by some rain. Um, it's probably 9.30 a.m. right now, but you can see the semi just pulled in. Bob's here. Looks like he brought the D4 and I believe that's Super M Diesel TA again. Let's go have a look. Look at that, Kyle Christie finally made it in for South Dakota. Another D4 with a four bottom. Look at this, 10.30 in the morning, last guy here. Rick Bork on YouTube. Is this how they unload things in Canada? starting to heat up they've already started on the backfield I have the five view running with the three bottom let's get down in there and uh, see how well it works
come to the Super M real quick. We're starting them out. I'm handling the field crown. Everybody else is going to come behind. get you up out of the ground so you can creep ahead and then I'll put it back. He's working it.
and Senior took the Super M. As soon as I got off it, I'm pretty sure he hopped right in the seat. Turning them good. So we've had the 5U with the three bottom in the ground just about all day. You've made way more rounds on it than me. Uh, it was really, you can see the speckles all over. I got blasted full of some black soot when I started cleaning it out. You're looking pretty good though. I think she's probably cleaned up. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's slobbering much. Not as much as it was. It's better. It is better than it was. What gear did you pull in most of the time? You were four, yep. Like going up the hill, it grunted pretty good. That's good though, that's what we wanted to do. Yep. All right, good report on the five view so far. Here comes KC uh, heading up the hill. He's got that old D4 working pretty good with the disc. We'll see if he makes it this time. He's got her lugging down, but he, uh, oh yeah, he, he kicked her out. He stalled her in the last trip, knocked her down in gear so he could make it. Yeah, he, he's learning. He's getting the hang of it. He's doing a good job. Well, here we got one of our CAD operators. He's been cleaning up the headlands here. Uh, looks like uh, looks like he's got a whole tree stuck up in there. He brought up half the edge of the field with him. So that's what he'll. Uh, We'll have a little project cleaning that out. Yeah, we got a real mess here to clean up. Uh, that's the trouble of these headlands. We got all these poplar trees and willows here. They just plug everything up. So we might have to get the tractor and loader here and lift this right off the ground. I bet that one root is like three inches in diameter down there. It's heavy too, look at that.
think we're free. Yep. All right, everybody, that was about two and a half hours and we've got both fields done. I don't think we brought enough land today. We had so many tractors, but I'll show you what we've got going on over here. One Mr. Kyle Crest had a pretty good idea. He said, why don't we arrange everything behind the old 20 on the rock pile and take a picture. So that's what we're getting lined up to do right now. Just finished getting Bob's D4 in place. Connor's moving the Super MTA diesel. And I think we'll be ready. Well, you can see over there, supper's ready. Rick treated us to pizza, so we've got the generator powering the electric pizza ovens. And I think we're just going to socialize for the rest of the evening, probably till it's dark, and then head home. We've got a lot of plows with shiny bottoms on them. All in all, it's a pretty good day. So this concludes uh, Plow Day 2022. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're going to do it again next year.